right. All right, we back. And we just saw Don't Blame Karma, a Netflix film. Película de español. What? It's a Spanish movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Most important <laughs> part of... <laughs> <laughs> but you can do English subtitles so you can understand what they're saying and practice your Spanish. Um, yeah, so I just was reading the subtitles, but I pretty much could understand what they're saying, kind of. Nah, I pretty much could. That's how I was reading the subtitles. <laughs> in English. <laughs> <laughs> but we did start them out in Spanish for a while. Was that in this one or else the other one? Oh, we watched it. It's been Spanish a movies. Netflix day for sure. <laughs> All right. So I'll say I like this movie. It was growing on me. I didn't even like the main character, but again, she did grow on me. Um, it was about like a a girl who a girl and a guy who were in a band when they were younger, and they were kind of in love, but it never like clicked all the way. And then fast forward to the future, and the girls sister is now marrying this same guy who she used to have her little high school fling with and a bunch of antics ensue right right no. i mean it gets a little twisted in the middle when you know there's gonna be two weddings instead of one then she cancels her own wedding because she just didn't love the dude yeah. and then you guys will Hell no, we spoil here. You can just say what happened. She ends up falling in love with her high school love. Yeah, but we already knew that was coming. I'll say this. It was very predictable, as most rom-coms are. I mean, I was liking the twists and turns they were taking, but, like, yeah. It was, like, hella obvious what was going to happen. They, they could have, like, split us where they didn't even end up together at the very end. That could have been some interesting, but, I mean, we knew where it was going at the very end of the day. And I thought it was very, like, very adult how they all did their splits. Instead of it being like, you know, oh man, we, we got beef, yo, what you mean? Oh, you're breaking my heart. It was none of that. It was literally straight up like, yo, like obviously this is not working out well. You know what I mean? Or we're not seeing eye to eye on this. And everybody just had the conversations and it was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, I kind of could see it. It was, it was never like, you know, nobody was angry and upset. The parents were the most childish. Yeah, for sure. That, that story's funny too, when it's out. The music was lit. Right? Yeah, like, I was going. Right? The music was really good. Especially just for a production, you know? Because, of course, those aren't real songs. But I like the music. But, it, yeah, they were... I bought him as an artist after a while. At first, I was like, mm, hell, he's the dude. But, like, it, it did start to grow on me. I'm like, okay, I see it. It was a huge surprise. Yeah. Huge was, surprise. I was, was like, good. who's this guy? And he was, Yeah, he was really singing them songs. I was feeling that. He was cute. He was cute. Yeah, and I like the designer thing, like... For the girl, that was like her like her way to shine, the way that she's always shined. And that was unique, I felt like, instead of it being like, I don't know, like these movies usually have some little goofy storylines. Right. But like her having her whole like design thing too. And like she was always like, had something going for her. She just couldn't see it for herself. Right. Um, it, I thought it was very, very goofy though, about the whole, you made a wish and you stole my wishes when we were a kid. Like, come on now. It's been way too many years of life for her to still be thinking that the little five-year-old wish, you know what I mean? Because she stole her sister's ruining, wish. Yeah, is ruining all of her karma. Like, that just was ridiculous to me. <laughs> well, you know, that that's true. You know, if you blow up somebody else's birthday cake, then technically you get their wish. I, I don't know that that's even true. And then whatever you wish for is what you get. I think so. I mean, I think it's just the magic of birthday wishes. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that, but um, yeah, it was a nice story. Uh, the yeah, the parents' B story was pretty funny too. I didn't know where that was gonna go. It, it almost like took me one direction and then went a whole another one with them like being the ones who got remarried at the end. Yeah, yeah. Can we rewind back to the birthday part? So we gotta do a little shout out. We gotta say a little happy birthday. Maybe sing a little happy birthday because it was your birthday recently. Oh, but. It don't matter on the show. Happy birthday. You have to cut this. Dear John. Happy birthday. Dear John. Hey. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you 
Why well, you make me laugh? Ooh. Thank you. How old are you now, John? Thir- 20. <laughs> 26. You know, I just applied to be on Love is Blind. All right. Yes. But, um, yep, so solid movie. Rated. Out of 10. Out of 10, I would give it a 8.9. And the reason why I give it an 8.9, it was really predictable, but the fashion was on point, the music was on point, the story was on point. We really got to see what the style was. Like, what's going on over there, you know, versus here. I agree. That was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, I'll give it a... I'll give it a... Hmm... I give it a 7.5. 7.5. It was good, but very predictable. Very predictable. As most of these kind of movies are. But you know, sometimes I get some curveballs and some I like because of the culture element. This did okay with that, but it still was rather predictable. But I love a chick flick. I love a romantic flick when like she gets to be with her high school love that she always loved, but like mm-hmm. he said he couldn't be with her and she just moved on. They made it for you. <laughs> they I made feel, it for you. You know, sometimes, sometimes God puts blessings in our life like that, and we just gotta like open our eyes to the sign. You heard it here first on hindsight, guys. Future fashion designer. You heard it here first. P Express. All right, we out. Hey. What's the sign?